A picturesque scene from suburban America. October leaves change as the high school football season nears an end. Inside, the hallway hustle and bustle provides an undercurrent, excitement building as senior night approaches. At Barberton High School, football players constantly gaze into the bright glare of glory days gone by, of a legend whose name they see every time they come to school. But what do these teenagers really know about Bo? I knew he was from Barberton. I knew, obviously, he was a great coach up at Michigan. Not a lot other than that. One, two, three. Pete just stuff my grandparents would say because they were in school with him, just different stories they'd tell. Last fall, Bo returned home to visit the new Barberton High School. It was only fitting that he also stopped by football practice. No one knew it at the time, but his inspiring speech turned out to be the last one he would ever give at his alma mater. When I first heard that he was going to come and talk to us, it was kind of like, you know, Bo Schembeck, or who is that? But then, you know, after hearing what, what he had done, it was like, wow, he's, he's come here to talk to us. His voice was very catchy. It was very loud uh, from a little old man. He, he had a great voice. Uh, he reached out. You could hear him from miles away, I'm sure. He wasn't a real flashy dresser, just you know, a pair of slacks and a collared shirt. Nothing real flashy at all, but just his presence and the way he talked and how strong his voice was, you could just tell what he's saying was genuine and it was things that you actually wanted to listen to and needed to take advice from. I think they were pretty impressed with his intensity just overall, that even at his age, he was when he started to speak about football, he was very intense. I think that's the impression they took away from it. One last shot at it, man. The news of Bo's passing spread quickly in his hometown, and as Barberton's football team watched archival footage predating their very existence, only then did they realize how lucky they were to be part of Bo's final visit. That's really, I think, when it said in the most, especially during the Ohio State-Michigan game when they had that memorial on there. It was like, wow, you know, I, I got to talk to him. You know, it, was, it was really something special. I got my hat out that he signed, and I kind of sat there and thought about all the things he said to me. <laughs> Bo's spirit lives on every time the Magics take the field. On this night, the team's gearing up for the season finale against arch rival Highland. You're lucky. You know when your last chance is coming, and that's tonight. Okay, so you get the chance to make the most of it. All right, we don't know when last chances are coming. Look back to last year. Coach Schembeck was shows up last fall, talks to you guys. Little did he know that'd be his last chance to come home to Barberton. You're still representing guys like Coach Schembeck who stood right in this same place okay, and did the same thing that you're getting ready to do, and that's go win a football game. The Magics didn't win that night. In fact, they only won twice all season. I wish I could have won more games, but you also feel like you're helping build the foundation for the younger guys. It's that mindset Bo would respect. Even in downtimes, even when you're about to go your separate ways, it's always about the team, the team, the team. Everybody takes care of everybody. Everybody looks over each other's backs. All my friends here, regardless of where we break off to, I know they'll always be here for me.